Check this out. So anyway, I'm up in the uh, the coastal range again, California, uh, not too far from uh, uh, San Jose, that area, and I've been wanting to come up here because California has some pretty interesting geology, and it's actually got a lot of uh, uh, oil and natural gas. So. Um, in some places, just because of the geology, not because of uh, human activity, that oil and natural gas and, and uh, asphalt and, and tar uh, seeps out of the ground, and it just kind of shows up there randomly. And it's you know it's been like that for you know hundreds or thousands or you know even maybe millions of years because a lot of the stuff is contained in in rocks that are you know five million to about twenty five million years old, and there's even recorded um, uh, um, boy, I can't think now. I guess I'm just too distracted by all this nice scenery up here. It's been raining. All the little creeks and stuff are flowing. Oh, it's kind of cool. Just kind of wanders off down that way. The berry bushes. Anyway, there's uh, uh, documented instances of uh, early explorers. Um, seeing the, uh, the Indians or the Native Americans, I don't know what I'm supposed to call them now, the First Nations peoples, the people that were here first before they came here when there were no other people, maybe. Anyway, um, they would use like some of the tar and stuff to uh, waterproof different things like, uh, you know, canoes and fishing boats and stuff like that. And I forget what else they'd use it for. So it's, it's just something that, you know, I mean, mankind has been using, uh, petroleum products since uh, before the modern industrial age, that's for sure. Just not on you know, such a big scale. Anyway, so um, I'm up here and I'm going to go see if I can find one of those seeps and uh, maybe get a, a sample or something just to have kind of for my collection. Even though it's not a mineral, it's uh, still kind of interesting, you know. So now I'm walking down this trail, which is going to be a real fun hike back up. And because uh, it'll start raining again like crazy later this afternoon, and I came across this. I know you've probably seen a million springs before, but it's right here on the side of this trail. Just kind of cruises down. And I don't know exactly why it's there. Could be that that was just some burrow for some little critter. And all the water that's below ground up on that slope is just finding the easiest way out and hydraulic pressure and that's it right there so maybe some little critter is now a homeless little critter has to go and find a high ground and it's just running down off that way there's a creek down there I can hear it can't really see it though but the direction we're going I think we're gonna cross it pretty soon mm -hmm. looks like coyotes you can see the reflection from the trail all the water running down it it has just been dumping buckets of rain here lately, which is kind of unusual for California to get this much rain. Just getting up here, you know, windy roads and stuff. And, uh, you know, all the, all the Caltrans guys and the county guys are out, you know, chopping up trees that have fallen down and clearing off mudslides. In fact, the, the road in to here, which is one lane and kind of paved, maybe like in 1946 or 47 or something and not repaved since um, it's got little mudslides and stuff already starting to go across it just from the rains we had really early this morning so if it starts to dump rain might be some 4WD action to get out of here which would be kind of fun actually but uh, yeah it's pretty awesome in here man quiet just the birds in the creek not too many birds either. Hopefully all that splashing from my boots isn't uh, too annoying. Hey, Christmas tree for next year. Better remember that one. Just kidding. 
I buy my Christmas tree from an asphalt parking lot. Just like every other red-blooded American or something. All right, I'm gonna turn this off. I'll kick it back in if I see anything else kind of unique or interesting. Check that out. It's a big old salamander. Pretty cool. There's an ancient creature. Let me get my hand wet and I'll pick him up. Come here, you. Hey, now that's pretty awesome, huh? You'd fit in a hot dog bun. I'm just kidding. He's going to go back home. Look at him. Hopefully he's not one of them ones where you touch him and then you like have seizures and die. I don't think so. Wow. Pretty. Look at those eyes. Real quick before I let him go. Eh, can't really get Okay. All right. Go on, little salamander. Or big salamander, actually. That's pretty awesome. I don't know what kind that is. I'll look it up when I get home. Go on. Scoot. There he goes, or she. Pretty neat. Never seen one that big just walking along the trail. And oh, if you're into cooking and that kind of stuff, that right there, that's a bay tree. I don't know if it's the exact same kind that cooking bay leaves come from, but uh, if you take off one of the leaves and just kind of break it up a little bit, they smell nice. They smell like, well, bay, bay leaves. Anyway, cool critter. A little open area over there. All right, I'll turn it back on. That is a plantain slug, a close relative of the banana slug. You can tell by the shape of its little feelers right there. See little feelers? Yeah, no, it's a banana slug. Maybe it'll run off down here. Pretty cool. Man, there's a lot of water coming down. And the sky is starting to cloud up too. So I'm gonna walk back to that spot where I think I can get access since it's towards the way out, but I've got about a three mile walk uphill, so uh, not all of it's super steep. Some of it is though. Still a nice walk, good exercise. Great exercise, actually. It's the heck out of the gym. We're just out running around the track. Like some sort of hamster. Yeah, see that creek's down there, but man. You're gonna brush bust like crazy to get there. Summertime, no problem. But I can't see the poison oak now. All right, back to walking. So I took a detour and I ended up finally down here at the creek, which is really full and really moving. But I finally found, or at least got really close to finding what I'm looking for. See this rock right here? You see, that stuff right there, that is tar from the earth. And more of it over here, you see. And I bet you if I look around, I'll probably find more of it. Let's see. Yeah, see that black stuff right there on that rock? Not so tar more of it there. Oh yeah, there's a good shot of it right here. You can see how it's sticking here. You can see how it's all over this rock. Sorry. And it's a little tricky to see, but it's got kind of a shimmer to it. That's natural oil. Yeah, all over these rocks. See it? The black, goopy looking stuff. That's it. I'm in the zone. Now, I'll have to risk being rained upon. 
poke around a little bit. That's kind of an interesting looking rock right there. Algae. My name is Mr. G. Mr. Algae. Alright, I'm going to poke around a little bit and then I'll turn the camera back on. I managed to get a nice jar of oil soaked rocks with some tar on them and junk like that because hey you know something different I'm a nerd I admit it of course I'm now I'm running like an hour and a half behind and I still have about two and a half of those three miles to hike out of here and it's getting colder and it's starting to rain so but I'm dumb because of my excitement to go and gather specimens I forgot to put on the rubber gloves I got my hands covered in crude oil and I learned something interesting about crude oil it is stickier than sticky now I understand why when the stuff spills it's such a pain in the butt to get the animals and the rocks and everything clean. And I also learned that apparently crude oil isn't necessarily or always or maybe ever black. Because as I was using some of the natural sandstone around here which, by the way, acts as a pretty good pumice. If you use that pumice soap, it's got the, the volcano ash in it. Well, it's like that, but even finer. Doesn't feel that great to be scrubbing your hands in a 40 degree creek with a chunk of sandstone. But, it got 90% of the crude oil off. The rest of it, I'm gonna have to go find myself the can of WD-40 won't do it, which I think it will. Yeah, the walk out of here is all uphill. And I really don't feel like holding my hand up the whole way with the camera. Plus, my hands are freezing, and I can move my other one. But the one holding the camera is kind of locked in place. That's not fun. All right, if I see anything cool on the way out, I'll let you know. Otherwise, once I get home and cleaned up and de-crude oiled, and I go from smelling like bunker fuel to a WD-40 explosion, in fact, hit that, or whatever, then I'll put on the uh, nitrile gloves pull out some samples and show y'all what crude looks like. Okay, bye. Crude oil samples, California style, naturally occurring. No drilling necessary. I know you don't have smell o vision but if you did, it would smell like someone was putting tar on a roof and had spilled diesel oil all over your shoes. Basically all you end up with these rocks and they look wet, well they are wet but not with water. You just get this really gooey tacky stuff and it's all full of sand and everything like that. Um, this is a redwood needle leaf whatever that's just completely just, I mean it just stuck with the junk not going anywhere. See, and this stuff, at least this particular crude oil product, is brown, almost like chocolate and not black. So I guess this would be brown gold. And most of this is just going to get put in a little specimen jar and labeled and put on a shelf because that's what I like to do with it. And then I've got some larger chunklets. Or, you know, So this stuff is, you know, it's it's got the, the whole wet thing going on as well. And then there's, uh, 
you know, it's just, it's just covered. It's just natural oil that seeps from the ground. And uh, it's been doing that for however long it has been. It's actually a really good shot right there. Hopefully that's coming out right in there. It's all gooey and goopy. Hey, awesome, as I'm setting a piece of plastic on fire with my soldering iron. I'll turn that to the off position. Woohoo! It's always an adventure in my shop. Good. More. This crumbly stuff is basically just impregnated with oil. It's kind of like asphalt, but... The consistency is different. Anyway, that's what I found. Told you guys I'd show you. Um, oh, you know what we should do? Let's prove it. Science. Hopefully this stuff is dry enough. Yeah, I'll find something that's pretty goopy. Yeah, I'll just use this little leafy thing. Hmm, how to do this without getting my hands covered in this crud once again. These are your typical Harbor Freight specials. Do not care. Will not worry about it. Match. And you can hear it sizzling. And popping and sputtering. Whew. Ooh, that smells. It's starting to get really gooey. Oh yeah, it's like all like just liquidy now. Which I guess makes sense. That's one of the ways they get oil sands out. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. We'll go find more interesting things. Maybe not cool things all the time, but I thought it was kind of interesting. And hopefully not as messy.